guess we try it. <laughs> um, good luck, us, I guess. Let go. Oh my god, that was stressful as shit. <laughs> I am not good at this boss yet. Clearly need some practice. 50 runet ore though, that'll look nice in the little tab. 18 blue charms. And a heart attack. And gets the kill. Oh man. Okay, well that was actually a lot better than the last one. I didn't lose my yak for the first time. Even though it actually started only on half HP. Take BOB. Yeah, that was that was better, I think. That was a lot better. Uh, let's see what the loot is. 45 water tallies. Fuck me leaf. What? I had a sign. Gotcha, bitch. How's it going, guys? It's Ryan here, and welcome to episode number two of Road to Rebuild. Uh, so first off, I want to apologize for the audio in those first clips with the banging, uh, and it's also a little bit low for the rest of the video. I'm very sorry about that. Basically, people were sleeping, so I had to be quiet when I was recording, and then I boosted the audio after, and then it left a lot of ambient sound in, so I apologize for that. It will not happen again. Uh, but yeah, if you're wondering why the audio is a little weird, that is why the audio is a little weird. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, this was me actually killing a Raxor for the first time ever uh, without light paths. So this was Acid and Minion Path, uh, and I'd actually recommend this. It took a very long time, as you can see, like the timer's just ticking away. But for my first time killing it on this path, it actually went very well. Didn't use too many supplies, didn't really have much of a struggle. Uh, basically what you do is on phase two, you kill all the minions, and then you never have to see them again, never have to deal with them again. And then it just makes phase three and phase four uh, very, very easy. Uh, very straightforward, so I would strongly recommend uh, this this path setup if you want to try and f kill Araxor effectively. Um, but yeah, actually the kill after this was even longer than this one, I think, which is pretty shameful, but I think we can laugh about it now. Uh, how, how terribly slow Araxor is uh, when you're a noob and when you're using a strike bow, which has equivalent DPS to like a tier 70 something. Uh, with extra accuracy, so it's a bit of a struggle. Uh, but anyway, guys, we did manage to get the kill. Welcome to episode two. Hopefully you enjoy, and look out for an epic drop right at the end. It is absolutely insane. So see you guys in a minute. That has got to be the most stressful Reaper task in this entire game. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is my first time ever killing a Raxor on those paths, and what do we get? We get eight magic seeds. Let's see what the loot is. Ooh! That is a good loot. We actually, that's profit right there. Damn! Uncut Onyx is what's up. Holy crap. Oh, that's another beam. Oh, there's the elite. Oh, that did not take that long. Oh, that's a Bando's helmet. Oh, God Sword Shard 3. Uh, not exactly a beam, but it is a unique drop. I'll be back with a snack, guys. Alright, I just got myself a bowl of shreddies. Um, looks like I didn't miss much. Alrighty guys, so in one hour of bandos, we actually managed to go up 400,000 uh, defense experience as well as making three mil, and that's without getting any great drops, so that's really, really good. Holy crap, we're gonna get like the worst possible drop. I'm great at this game. I think we need to price check that just to demonstrate how we may have possibly gotten the worst corp loot in the history of this game. One corp kill, 9.2k. There we go. Ooh, that's a beam. 
That is a beam. That is why it's worth corping the leg. Leg or not, that is gains. That is a nice drop to get. 600k. Oh, goodbye, Core. Core can suck it. I'm gonna use that too, just to be safe. Give me some extra tankiness. Because the mage hits kind of wreck you. That's one problem, is when you're killing Corp, you have to use melee, basically. So, you get kind of wrecked by the combat triangle bit. There we go. And goodbye! Peace out, Corp. What's the loot? I'd love a beam. Oh, it's a beam! I called it! I called that shit! There's some Onyx Bolts to eat. That is a great drop. Oh my god. Did I call that or did I call that? 1.5 mil in the freaking bank. Yeah, Tetsu's very tanky. It's nice, this boss. Uh, another beam, maybe? Oh, another beam! What is it? Runador. Oh my god, back to backs on the streams. I like this shit. I really like this shit. Alright, guys, this is the last kill of the death task. Um, I cannot drink an adrenaline potion, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is the strat I've been doing so far. This is my gear setup. Um, death Lotus stuff, Death Lotus darts. Uh, and it's actually not going too badly, I thought. Well, I've actually never been here with tier 90s, so it's not like I was really missing the Nox Bow too much here. Uh, but yeah, the kill speeds are just fine, honestly. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's somewhat quick. Uh, but yeah, the 10 kills took... Heck, I don't know. Does it have a timer on it? Nope. I don't know. A couple minutes, anyway. Probably about 10, 12, 13 minutes. So I'll probably get, like, 45 kills, maybe, uh, in my hour here. Which isn't too bad, I guess. Yeah, that was a very slow kill. Of course, whenever I like actually record it, it's a shitty kill, but you know, that's how it goes. What's the drop? Nothing is the drop. Oh, that's a beam. What is it? <sighs> Rip. Of course. Alrighty guys, let's end off this episode on a freaking high note. My recorder failed me, but thankfully there's Sam who's got my back and got his on in time. That is me receiving an offhand Drago Rapier drop, which was absolute gains. It was like an 11-ish something mil split. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that in the Road to Rebuild tab as well. So that is absolutely amazing.